Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review on Amazon Basics 12 inch cast iron skillet. This is their pre-seasoned cast iron skillet. So it's first off, it's really heavy. It's got their nice Amazon Basic logo on the back. Now, it's 12 inches right from here to here. The actual cooking surface down there is right around 10 inches. So the handle is right at around 7 inches. And overall, it's right around 20 inches. But I do like that it has this other handle since it is so heavy. So the instructions say it can be used on all cooking surfaces. And you can also put it in the oven with the broiler on. It says you can use it on a ceramic or glass top cooking surfaces, but avoid dragging it around. So if you've got it on a glass top um, range, you just don't want to kind of drag it around. It could scratch the glass. Now there's nothing super sharp on here, but that is kind of a rough surface. And that definitely would kind of scratch your glass surface if you moved it around a bunch. Down here, even that texture is a little bit rough. Okay, so before first use, it says rinse with hot water, dry thoroughly, and apply a small amount of vegetable oil to the pan. We're gonna meet, heat it up to a medium heat before cooking. Okay, so we do have a glass cooktop range, but I'm gonna put it on mine. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat. And I can definitely tell it does slide around a little bit, but I don't wanna just keep moving it back and forth. Okay, so since this is our first time, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of vegetable oil on it. The pan has reached medium heat. I've had it on medium heat for about four or five minutes. Okay, so we might have used a little bit too much oil, but just kind of spread it around and get the whole pan nice and covered. Kind of up on the sides. Okay, so once it comes up to temperature at the medium heat, it's right before it starts smoking a little bit, just give it one last kind of overall brush with the oil then you're going to drain the oil off and then it is ready to be used for the first time okay so we got some bacon on it and we're going to be cooking some bacon on it see how it does I've, I've still got it on the medium heat so on medium heat the pan's getting to around 400 degrees okay so the instructions say always cook on medium heat Never use any kind of metal utensils on it. So the instructions say that your, your meat might, it, the pan might be a little sticky at first. And that is what I'm finding out. That even though I've got this thing pre-seasoned, it is a little sticky the first time I've used it. Also the instructions say never cook tomatoes or anything acidic in a cast iron skillet. And so be careful, this handle is already starting to heat up. Okay, so when you're done cooking with your cast iron skillet, you got to let it cool off before you do any cleaning because the handle, everything's going to be hot. Okay, so once the pan has cooled, I'm going to dump out. There is some, some oil in there. I'm going to dump it out. And now you've got, two, you've got about two or three options of cleaning a cast iron skillet. The first one is just to wipe it out with some towels. Okay, so whatever towel you use, it's gonna have a lot of oil on it. Now, by wiping it off, you can, this could be your final step. Just wipe it off, and then it's ready for the next use. Now, if you do have some uh, baked on food there, you can use, you can use a bristle brush to kind of help get the baked on food off, but I don't have that much baked on food on this one. Okay, so if you're gonna use water, be prepared, it's gonna be a little bit more work because you do not want any water to stay on this pan. It will, these pans will rust. So if you, do, if you are gonna use some water, make sure it's hot water first. We're not gonna use any chemicals whatsoever. We're just gonna give it a rinse. And then you can use your stiff bristle brush. Okay, we can use our stiff bristle brush to kind of rinse it out real quick. Make sure the water is hot. Okay, so now that we've used water, we've got a lot more work to do. We've got to get this pan dry. Not only do we got to get it dry, we've got to get some oil back on it. And we want to make sure and dry this everywhere. We don't want any standing water on it. I could have used the bristle brush a little bit more on there, but that's okay. Okay, so now that we've got it nice and dry, we now have to re-oil it. So put a little bit of oil in there. 
Now I don't have the burner on this at, at this moment, so just get the oil, make sure you oil it up nice and good around the sides, everywhere. Okay, so now since we used water, I want to, you want to heat this pan up a little bit. It says on low heat, just let it get to a nice temperature to kind of, that's how you want to dry it. You don't want cast iron skillets to air dry because if they air dry, you may have found, you, there may have been a spot where water is that you don't know about and that spot will rust. So there is a deep cleaning process you can do. If you've been using your pan for quite a while and you've got some really stuck on food, you can put some water in the pan and bring the water to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, as soon as it comes to a boil, you can rinse that off or let it cool down a little bit and that will help unstuck the food. So again, you've got the first method of just wiping it out. And then you've got, if you, if you put water in it, then you got a lot more work to do after you, if you put water in it, because you definitely want to get it all dry. And once they start to rust, there's really no going back. Now, once this is done, I'm going to take it off the burner. I'm going to wipe off this oil that's in there now, and then I can store the pan, which can be kind of hard storing a pan that's kind of oily. Thanks everybody for watching.